Hello, and as always, thank you for coming to my talk show, Tell It Like It Is. I'm your host, Morris Mann, and my co-host, Joseph Spencer. As you guys may notice, we are been, we've been put in the, in the newsroom, and they're working on our set, so I just thought I'd mention that because you might have said, hey, why it looks so different, and that's why. Today's topic is, and I'm sure everybody can relate to this, why don't things work the way they used to? And I'll give you an example. This is my cell phone. I've been with the same carrier for over three years, and this is the third cell phone. And it's not because they gave me a free one or want to give me another one. It's because the other two stopped working. So that's why I got a third cell phone within a three-year period when it shouldn't be that way. I can recall, and I'm sure you can attest to this, Joe, the house phone had a real sturdy cord that never shorted out. Matter of fact, you couldn't even take the cord out of the phone. It was made into the, into the phone. And the phone lasted for 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. We used to sometimes get beat with the phone. Yeah. I don't know about you. The cord, not the phone. <laughs> the, the phone, too. You know, my mother grabbed okay. anything that was available to get right. us. You know, and I remember getting beat by the phone, with the phone. And okay. the phone still, still, kept, still kept working. You know? yeah. But what are your thoughts on things not working? Well, uh, all companies, all big companies have investors. Yeah. And uh, uh, if you don't recycle your sell good, you can't make a bigger, you, it's got to do with making a bigger, a larger profit. Yeah. And, and, and the kids now, are from, our, from, from, from this generation, I've been trained to get stuff every, new stuff every 15 minutes. That's a good point, and, and that's true. Our younger generation has been, I guess, brainwashed by the marketing companies or the companies to, to say that this is the norm to keep getting cell phones every two years as opposed to this should last you five to ten years. Mm -hmm. It's all, of, you're right, the bottom line is money. There used to be a word that companies live by and, br and breathe by, and that's integrity. That's no longer mm -hmm. a part, a word that's used in the boardrooms of these big corporations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been replaced with profit. Excuse me. Integrity, quality, and there was something else, I forget what it is. Honesty. In, in, honesty, yeah, integrity, honesty. And quality. Yeah. They, when I was a kid, they thrived on stuff that was quality. And lasted because cars used to last a very long time. Long time. Cars used to last 20, about 20 years before you decided to, you know, either give it to your son or you buy a new one. Now cars last about five to seven years. Five to seven years. And the mortgage, or should I say uh, the car note on cars on a brand new car is like five to seven years. Mm -hmm. So. By the time you pay off the car, it's time to get another one because the car stopped running. It stopped running. It doesn't work anymore. Or, or, or the electronics in the car start burning out. Yeah. You know? Everything is cheap. I mean, they used to use a lot of heavy metals in right. cars. Now they're using literally plastic. Plastic. And I would hate to be in a car accident in these cars of the day because you probably won't make it. They have well, to cut you out of it. Well, they, they, they're saying that breakaway cars <laughs> yeah. are, are more safe. If the car disintegrates around you instead of you having that impact like you used to have in a 1955 Packer that was made out of steel. Well, the problem with that is, once the car disintegrates, it leaves you vulnerable to get killed. I, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So, Shoot. it's unfortunate that, you know, that it's, it's like that, but, you know, I've noticed over the years, I remember metal pipes in, in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, now they replace it with plastic. Mm -hmm. And they give a, a rationale for the reason why that they don't do mm -hmm. that. But they just don't make them the way they used to. I mean, they just don't last. Well, plastic have a tendency of, of, of degrading. Yeah. You know, especially water running through plastic and the PVC tubes. Uh -huh. I don't know life expectancy on it, but me being a, a, a carpenter and being in, at being been in the trade at one time, I noticed there uh, there've been houses when I tore tore out a wall. That those pipes had been there since the turn of the century. Yeah. They were clogged up, but but they were still there. Yeah, and you could unclog them with lye or you know drainer, which yeah. you can't use in plastic. You can't well use. That's why they tell you, you know. Yeah, and and uh, th they're saying the, the the lead in the in the in the seal they put on the pipe is bad for you, which I believe it yeah. destroyed a lot of countries back in the day. Yeah. And it, they got a lot of reasons why they don't do stuff the way they do, yeah. and, the, and the price of metal. Yeah, and and, and there are some legitimate reasons mm -hmm. why they have made a conversion from one. Uh, source to another, mm -hmm. you know, and they're and it's legitimate. But for the most part, is let's get the cheapest material, charge you the most money, and, and see our profits increase. Mm -hmm. And you're right about that. Uh, uh, plumbers, when they put in that PVC tube, uh, 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 it's it costs the same amount of putting in carbon pipe. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, remember as a kid, and I can attest to this because uh, I'm, I'm a child from the 60s, 70s. I remember my mom used to buy shoes that would last a couple of years mm -hmm. until you outgrew them. Mm -hmm. And during that time, they would put, they would, we would take them to the shoemaker, which is, a a, mm -hmm. a, a, a in, I guess, uh, an ex, extinct uh, a company now. I mean, that's just, it, the business is no longer well, in existence you for a shoemaker. You can find a few cobblers, but you need a jet plane to find them or exactly. a helicopter. Because they make shoes now where they only last six months. They be smelling, you yeah. toss them out. But I remember they used to put those tabs on the, the, the heels to yeah. keep the heels from wearing down. Yeah. Because, of course, just naturally the heels are going to wear out because you're walking on pavement all the time. But the shoe itself stayed intact for stayed years. Stayed intact for years. Right. Now it's like. We go through shoes every six months. Well, the shoes now, uh, you, you can pay $150 for a shoe that, that's, that's, that's glued. You know, they, they, they've gone to these plastic soles. The, the bottom shoe don't have any stitching in them. Mm -hmm. And uh, funny you mention that. I, I have found, went to a, a popular shoe place. And they were having a sale. And I bought, found a pair of tennis shoes that, that were popular. About 20 years ago, I bought them. Uh -huh. They're still wrapped up. When I open the plastic up, you smell they're brand new. And I put them on. I said, I remember these shoes, you know, these tennis shoes. From, I forget the name of them, but they were flat little tennis shoes, you know. They, you know. And uh, a friend of mine looked down and said, Joe, where, where did you get those old-fashioned tennis shoes? I said, well, I, I, I found them at the, you know, at, at, at the shoe store for $9. He let me have them for $9. Why would you want to buy those, he said. He said, they're old-fashioned. I said, old-fashioned, but they're brand new. Yeah, but they're old-fashioned. I said, but they, they're brand new right out of the box. I looked and said, make a long story short. If somebody could come over here and get this 1955 Cadillac that's never been driven, you wouldn't take it? Well, that's a car. I said, it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good example yeah. of that individual has been, I guess, duped and brainwashed right. by the market in this country because a lot of us don't realize why we do what we do. And it's because of television, the way that they market things, and then when everybody jumps on board, you feel that you have to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And that's understandable when you're a teenager, because when you're a teenager, your life is all about clicks, trying to stay in the click. This well, man was not a teenager. He's the well, same age. Well, the point I'm making, <laughs> yeah. the point I'm making, some people, <coughs> you know, never grow out of that. It's like, it's still, that kind of mindset for them that they got to go out and get the newest thing or they not hip or it's just not right if you don't. It's ridiculous. I mean, as you get older, you make your own decisions to say, hey, this doesn't work for me. You know, and I'm not about to spend a bunch of money on something that's not going to last. You, you were talking about the, the back in the day. When, when I was a kid, you had uh, uh, cobblers. You had places you can go have your cameras or TV fixed. Yeah. The TV repair man, yeah, yeah, the shoe guy, you, the, the TV shoe guy, repair guy, the toaster. You take the toaster down to yeah. the guy, and he he they fixed fix the toaster. Yeah. You know, you had a guy to come over to the, to fix the windows. He pulled the windows out and reframe it out and fix it. Yeah. Now all that stuff you got to order, and you know, it comes. Well, fit. they don't want you to, to repair nothing. They right. want you to just buy it, buy out new, new stuff. Again, you, know? you know, it's like. We don't want to make something that's going to last 15 years. We want to make something that's going to last every two years right. and you keep running back and buying another one. But when they did that, they cut out a lot of the job market. They did. Well, that's right. Greed messes it, things up for everybody. Everybody. You know, because we all have to make decisions where uh, this works for me and I'm going to do it this way because it works for the masses as opposed to I'm going to be selfish and greedy. I'm going to do it this way and undercut the next guy. And everybody mm -hmm. else that has that business now is forced to do the same, do the same thing. or they lose profit or they go out of business. Go out of business. You know? Take cars, for, for example. Uh, when I was a kid, you, you're in high school, you took, you, know, you took some classes in fixing cars and you could fix your car. You, know? you basically will never own your car because they didn't make cars. Oh, no. No, as long by the time you own it, it's time to buy another yeah, one. It doesn't work anymore. That's that's because you can't fix it yourself. Yeah. Well, yeah, they they make it that right. way. When we were kids, <laughs> we could get in there and right. physically just then they put the spark plugs up under the engine, you so got you it. can't get to it. And that's the reason why they do it, so you can't get to it, so you can take it to the dealer <laughs> and get robbed. So they can change the freaking spark plugs. I couldn't believe that when I found it. You got to be kidding! You can't. <laughs> oh man! Mm -hmm. So we're the ones that's stupid. Because we should have got a part of this. We should have went into this, into what these people are doing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just undercut now. As opposed to yeah. 40, 50 years ago, 
It was a sense of integrity. There was enough room for everybody in these uh, industries to work amongst each other and make a profit. I can recall as a teenager, McDonald's was never close to uh, Burger King. No. They were literally miles away. Miles now apart. they are deliberately next door. And it's like, what is this about? You know, and still of spreading them out for people that don't have cars and they, if they can't get to this one, they can walk to this one. They all centered around each other. That's because they're probably the same company now. Well, that's also, and then the other, it's like dog eat dog. It's mm -hmm. like I'm coming in and taking part of your, your, your market or mm -hmm. part of your, your, uh, your customer base. And that's, I think, initially what it was about. I'm bigger than you. I'm about to come in and stomp mm -hmm. you and take you, your customers, as opposed to there's enough hungry bellies for everybody to, to, to sell their burgers to, you know? You got it. My sister had mentioned that uh, uh, the Jules of Dominic, Jules of Dominic's uh, is selling out to some people. They constantly sell out. Right, I mean, right. a lot of people don't realize that other companies own other companies that own other companies. Mm -hmm. That's just like the electronic industry. I was told that there are only a few electronic suppliers, and those few sell their products who resell it to us. Right. You know, and I've seen this. I've seen a, a stereo system at Radio Shack, and it has a little Radio Shack name on it. I go to another place, Kmart. It's the same identical Electronic, it yeah. just don't have Radio Shack it now. Don't have, right. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I thought that they all made their own. No, they buy from, from a handful Mitsubishi. of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they buy from a handful well, of Sony, companies yeah. that sell them, and they resell them to Stick us. Stick the name on it. Yeah, and Pe they sell it to us for a higher, uh, a much bigger markup. You know, people, people really believe that all these food is less th th than 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 a big mega company like Jewels or or, or you know. And I'll keep trying to no, it's the same food. No, no, no. It, all these food is not as good as Jules. I said, they changed the label. <laughs> if they got all these canned goods. It, it's, it, it's the same beans in that can than it is in Jules. And they refuse to believe that. But you know what? The qu answer to that question is yes and no. Yes, because you're right. No, because it's, market, it's processed differently. You know, there's a reason why a can of beans at Jules that costs two dollars and that same can or a can of beans is 59 cents. And there are many different factors. One of them is the, uh, the one in the store for two dollars, the people that uh, uh, literally stock it get paid more than other people that do it on the other end. So the answer to that question is actually yes and no. Yeah, you know? but it's still the same. Be a bean is a bean. If you take, if you got have a warehouse of 100,000 skin, skins of pinto beans, and me being at my, at my store, Joseph's store, mm -hmm. and you have your store, you don't want my label on your cans. Mm -hmm. Those beans come from the same field. Yeah, but they're processed differently sometimes. What, boiled and put in a can? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The metals, the, the cans that they actually put them in are sometimes different from the $2 can. Again, there's a lot of factors well, in I, that. Well, I, I noticed that uh, yeah. uh, a lot of cans have a, a coated with Teflon now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it, it, the answer again to that question is yes and no. There are a lot of okay. factors that make the $2 can $2 and the 15, 59 cent can 59 cent. Okay. But there is a markup. And a lot of people don't realize this. You know, like say, for instance, with the cell phone. I paid, I think, maybe $40 for the cell phone. The company that I have my uh, cell, phone deal, uh, cell phone deal with, they didn't pay $40 for this. They probably paid $5, $5. and they marked it up $30. Right. And a lot of us don't realize that, that there's a huge markup in retail. You know, they're not huge. just giving you what they're giving you for that price because they paid because if they did, they wouldn't make any money. And I understand that. They yeah. have to have an area, a, a area for, area for, mar for yeah. profit. Well. But the, the profit is just so ridiculously high. <laughs> That's the uh, the issue that I I normally have. I'm like, yeah, I want you to make money, but you know, I shouldn't pay five times the amount of what I'm paying, and you have me. Years ago, years ago, I, I worked in a ladies' clothing store, and my boss came and said, "These shoes, they don't know those shoes. Are, they're ugly. Women don't don't like them." I think the shoes were like forty, maybe fifty bucks. My boss looked at me and said, "Joseph, uh, raise the price to hundred and fifty dollars and put them on sale." For forty, so, well, that don't make any sense. <laughs> and they do that. <coughs> so, I, and I've seen this. <laughs> and I've seen this. Uh, I go to the store and see a shoe for fifty dollars. I come back next week, uh, buy one get one free. Yeah. Now that shoe is a hundred dollars. Right. So I'm like, the only thing you did was raise the price, and just give me another shoe for the same price. Right. So there's no sale. 
But pe and, he, and he explained it to me. He says, some women, when they come here and see this shoe is on sale from $105 down to, they're going to buy it. Yeah. Shoes sold, sold out like chiclets. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Well, sometimes we just don't realize what they're doing. But on that note, we kind of run out of time. I see our cameraman Tom kind of giving us a signal to cut the show. But as always, I thank you for coming to my, my talk show, Tell It Like It Is. Again, I'm Morris Man and my co-host. Joseph Spencer. And until next time, keep thinking. <laughs>